Hey guys, Alex here, otherwise known as Clash with Style, with part three of this tutorial, and this is currently what the signature is looking like. If you don't know how we got here, please go and check out the other two tutorials. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, excuse me, you guys definitely didn't want to hear that. <laughs> excuse me. Um, this is what we're going to be working with on this one. In the first tutorial, we covered the background, the render placement, the flow of the tag, and setting everything up. In the second tutorial, um, we did all of this so we worked on lighting as well as glows and in this one we are going to be looking at adjustment layers and coloring so this should be a reasonably short uh, part of the tutorial very easy to get coloring um, if you've got everything set out like I have it right here what we're gonna do is just dive right in to some adjustment layers so there's a way that I usually like to do it, usually works for me, you guys I'm sure will find your own way, but if you just follow along for this part as I'm doing, you should have no issues at all. So we're going to start off down here with a gradient map, we're going to click on here, we're going to go over to this purple and orange gradient map. Now that already actually looks kind of cool, but we're going to put this on to soft light and then on to 35%. So I use that for every single one of my tags, that exact method. So using the purple to orange, soft light, 35% in fill. Next one we're gonna be doing is color lookup. We're gonna be coming up here and we're gonna be grabbing foggy light. So like I said, this is the exact techniques that I use for all my pieces for my adjustments. Obviously I change the um, adjustment layers to suit the piece. For this one, we're gonna be looking at about 25% fill for the foggy light adjustment. Next color lookup we're going to be doing is three strip and you can see this is going to make the colors pop a lot lot more really happy with what this does to a piece usually and for this one we're going to go for about 40% we definitely want that to be quite high and to make an impact. Next one we're going to be looking at is crisp winter which is going to add a lot more blue tones into the piece. So again this is going to be quite high on about 30%. The next one we're going to be looking at is another color lookup layer and this one is going to be uh, fall colors right here and this will uh, dull your piece down a little bit. It will make it look um, a little bit desaturated but I feel like it's always good to have it. You can reduce that if you want but we will fix that uh, in the next part. I just like to add that fall colors in. The next one we're going to do for the color lookup is film stock. We're going to drop the fill to, this depends on the piece you're doing, but for this one we're going to drop it to about 35% I think will work. And already that is making quite a difference to this piece. So we're going to keep going here and what we're going to do next is we're going to come in here and grab a color balance. Okay, so most people when they use a color balance will just stick to mid-tones. Personally, I like to jump into shadows, but I like to start with the mid-tones. For me, this is maybe lacking a little bit of yellow. It's definitely got enough green, so we're going to chuck in some more purple. Um, what do we want? Some more blue or some more red? I'd say some more blue probably. Something like that. Yep, and it just makes that subtle changes. Um, shadows we are going to add in a darker blue as well as a darker purple you'll notice shadows you really don't need to add very much and for highlights we definitely want green we want a little bit of that and a little bit of that okay and look at the difference that's making very subtle but it helps to make it pop that little bit more now that we've done that we're going to be coming up here if you click on curves to start with come over here and just click auto this will automatically set it at where it feels the lighting should be for your piece. But personally, I never really stick to what this is saying. What I usually do with this is I put it onto soft light and I'm then going to reduce it to around about 20% for the fill. The next one we're going to be doing is coming into brightness and contrast. Again, just hit that auto button. And that actually looks pretty good. We're not going to want it quite as much as that, but we're going to have it reasonably high, about 35% for the brightness and contrast. And this is really starting to come together. I am going to use another color uh, balance layer right here, and we're just going to chuck in a little bit more purple. Yeah, that's definitely looking real, really nice. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an exposure layer. I'm going to drop this down quite significantly. Something like that, okay. But we definitely don't want all of this to cover our tag. So what we're going to do is we're make sure you're on this layer mask right here. Click Control i to invert it, which will hide everything. We're then going to select a white brush. We're going to make sure we're on a soft brush. Again, I'm going to be using my graphics tablet. But you guys, what you can do is reduce the opacity of the brush right here when you're clicking. And what we're going to do, make sure you're on the white brush, is we're going to... Oh, I've not got my transfer on. We're just going to lightly brush on parts that we feel need to be darkened down a bit. So for me, it's definitely going to be this bit in here. Definitely far too bright for me. Um, where else is looking a little bit too much in here? Probably up there a little bit in here in this area. Uh, probably in his stomach sort of area. And yeah, that's looking good. You don't need to have that all the way up just enough so it makes that little bit of a difference about 75 percent um, will be sufficient right there and what we're going to do now is by holding the shift button we're going to group all of these together okay we're then going to click Control g to group we're going to name this adjustments and that is our adjustment layers done so you guys definitely don't need to follow along specifically exactly as i did it definitely don't need to do it exactly as i've did it but it is worth noting that probably as least amount of adjustment layers is always best but i like to stick to all of these color lookups all the ones that i went through pretty much go into every single one of my tags okay and there are a couple more things that i feel are slightly lacking in this piece so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide the adjustment layers and we're gonna add in a couple more glows right here. So for me, this green right here is not quite cutting it. So we're gonna go back to what we did in, was it the first or second tutorial? Um, and we're gonna locate this bit right here. We're gonna put a layer mask onto that uh, shading that we did at the top. And I'm actually just gonna remove it completely from this uh, barrel sort of bit up here. I just feel like it's taken away quite a bit. We are then going to make a new layer like we've done here. We're going to grab a green and we're going to just, I'm going to use my brush for this. I'm just going to glow this up a lot, lot more. Okay, so what we're going to do is just brush it in. We can put it on whatever we want. Vivid light will work for that. Although if we leave it on like that, it's going to stand out quite significantly but I feel like these bits probably should stand out quite significantly so I'm going to do exactly the same for this bit exactly the same for this bit as well as this bit down here as well as this bit over here as well as the bits up here and on his mouth the okay so if we were to leave them that it really does stand out quite a lot so we're definitely not going to want it on full but we're going to want it turned up quite a bit probably somewhere around there so let's go with 75% I think yeah that definitely looks a lot lot better much happier with how that's looking what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to add in some large brushes okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer we're going to come in here and we're just going to make sure adjustments is off first we're going to come in here grab the brush and we're just gonna what well, obviously i'm using my brush so you guys use opacity and fill to um get it to whatever you want but i'm just going to use these really big brushes to brush over these areas to get the general colors going in those areas um we're gonna want a little bit of orange down in here orange in there uh orange on his face and uh, we want some green in here Okay, so you can see that is really going to blend the piece together a lot, lot more and going to make it stand out. So we definitely don't want it as much as that. So we're going to put this on to lighten, first of all. Then we're going to reduce it. I usually put it all the way to zero, then work my way back up. And then just keep playing around with it until you're happy with what you have. I'm going to want mine quite low, so I think about 35% should work in this case yes and it does looks very very nice happy for sure with how that's looking maybe this one is slightly too much so i'm going to drop that to 65 and um, we're going to call this green 
and we're just going to call this blend. Okay, so in this uh, tutorial, in this part three, we've gone from this to this. So definitely came leaps and bounds. In this one, you can see the difference that adjustments make for sure. So hopefully you guys learned something in this one and stick around for part four where we're gonna be finishing it, finishing off this piece. See you guys then, cheers.